Welcome everybody. If you're watching this on Facebook, you may know who I am, but if you're watching the replay, say somewhere like YouTube, well, you might still know who I am. Who knows? I'm Sandra Champlain. I'm the host of uh, Shades of the Afterlife and We Don't Die Radio, also author of the book, We Don't Die, A Skeptic's Discovery of Life After Death. And it just dawned on me that we have just completed 16 months of doing online courses medium demonstrations, our world famous global Sunday gathering. And I wanted to catch up with two of my favorite people who are our main tutors on three of our classes. And today they just finished a few minutes ago, The Way to Your Spirit, our four session class for September. Well, we have it every month. And then tomorrow they're very busy because they'll be starting our psychic development class. Then on Thursday, our mediumship class. So lots going on. First, let me just take a breath and say hi, Carrie and Phil. Hello. 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 And it is always a pleasure to see you. I know we're an Atlantic Ocean apart, but it is really good to catch up with you and everybody that's um, checking in with us. Hello to you too. Yes, we've just finished The Way to Your Spirit, and it is something that came out of when we were developing or delivering our psychic class and our mediumship class we began to recognize that there was a something that was missing in terms of spirituality in people. And so we called it the way to your spirit in order to help people find um, some commonality in the questions that they were coming up with. And it's that that led to each week. For instance, last week, we looked at what gets in the way of um, doing anything and how procrastination shows up and today we were looking at the, the the 10 steps towards being successfully yourself Ooh. and then when we're looking at that we're looking at generally everything everybody knows what we're sharing because in some way people mostly have heard it but they've not heard it put in a way that relates to where they are right now because everybody goes through different journeys of finding that self and unfolding the self. So it's making it real for everybody and helping them come to terms with maybe what's happening in their lives at that moment. Mm. It was, it's really, as Kerry said, about what was missing from the mediumship and the psychic part. There was a spiritualization that was missing. So we thought about what we could help them with or what we could bring to them to be of further use and service. So we started, as we know, within our own work, medium is not just a medium. People say that you're just a conduit, bring you that evidence and, and giving that information. Well, for us, it's far more than that. Um, it's about touching them at a deeper level, letting them know, almost like getting under their skin, to really get them to look at life and be inspired in life and create better choices, a better life for themselves. So it, once we start to understand that principle, that spirituality, that we can make different choices, but get them to see real spiritual truths of where they are and how to be spiritual, whatever spiritual means to you, to really engage in those activities and not just perform the mechanics, the mechanical process of mediumship, that naturalness, that true authentic self has got to be there, has got to be prevalent because you are a byproduct, well, your mediumship is a byproduct of who you are. And so by giving them that understanding of self and the spiritualization, at a really deep seated level, understanding that everything they've gone through in life were their self limiting beliefs, their triggers, all those things were other people's opinions count, and helping them understand that they don't um, and they need to be true to who they are has really empowered them. And some of the feedback we're getting, it's changed their life. Their partners are seeing a real kindness within them. And they're even understanding situations around them, being more empathic to them. And they've actually said they're making almost a better, kinder life, um, not just for themselves, but for other people around them, because they're now expressing that. Mm -hmm. So it, it, it's, mm -hmm. it's, a, it's something we really enjoy. And the way to your spirit, the way it's working out is, yes, it's recorded, so everybody that joins gets a copy of every episode. But what we've ha now had two handfuls, so 10, 12 people get in touch to say 
they go back, you know how you read a book and you go back and you read parts of the book and whichever part you read, it happens to be the part that you need to hear at that moment. Quite a few people have said that have been with us since May have said they've gone back and played an episode because they would normally pick an angel card or a colour card, but they've gone back and played a, a certain moment just out of pure chance of a certain episode of The Way to Your Spirit. And it happens to have been what they needed to hear in that moment. And when we thought about doing The Way to Your Spirit, it's exactly what we thought about it being. It wasn't a listen to it once. It was people going back and hearing something different and being in a different space when they watched it next time and hearing something different. So it's so reassuring to hear people using it in the way that we dreamed it would be used as that point of reference and a point of tracking the self-development of where I was. And I never heard that last time, but this time that part's landed with me. It's been really, really good to hear. It really is a journey being human, as we all know. And for anyone who knows me, or maybe you're just being introduced to me, I'm like the afterlife lady, right? So I've done 25 years-ish research on the afterlife. I'm continually getting new reasons to believe and sharing them with whoever listen. you know, that's me. But also there's a couple other things that are really, really important. And one is people go through grief. Life is very, very difficult when we lose a loved one, although they live on, we know that they're healthy. Well, they live on, we'll see them again. I want to be able to touch people and have them know how to work through grief and that it's a process and so many things. But the other thing that is so near and dear to me is that if we really embrace the reality of the afterlife, then the big question is who are we and what is our life for? So if you guys don't mind me asking like the biggest question known to mankind, you know, we get three minutes to answer. No, just kidding. But you talk about the soul, you talk about the self, you talk about the spirit. Do you want to just talk a little bit like who, who are we? You know, what are your thoughts on say this big picture? Okay. It is a big question and a oh, big yeah. picture. It's a big, yeah, big shoulders. For you to look in. <laughs> um, if you look at that we come from a place before we're born, now we're not going to venture into sacred contracts or reincarnation because that's not for this discussion. But if we look at a place that we come from before we take our first breath, that we are spirit, that we are of the spirit world, that we're connected to something. Some people call it heaven. Other people call it summerland. Other people call it the creative force of life. Other people will want to call it God. Now, we're not talking about God sat on a throne somewhere, but God as an, an intelligence. And then we come here, take our breath, and we wonder what the heck's happening. And when we come here, there is often we hear people say, I have the sense of separation and I'm in a loving relationship and I have loving family members and I have fantastic friends. I have a, a sense in me that has full purpose, but I still have a sense of lacking. And this is what set us to do the way to your spirit was as we enter into a physical life, we feel that separation from the God force or the creative force of life because the soul within us feels disconnected from something greater than itself. So the spirit, we all have a spirit within us. The spirit within us is that unique part that's of the creative force of life. And then we get things called personalities characters and we express that through the soul the soul is us the soul is who we choose to be are they whether it be through family shaping us as we growing up as we grow up or um, dna shaping us from our heritage or experiences as we grow we express ourselves, and that's the soul the soul expresses itself right through to the last breath and then the soul and all its experiences head back to a place of intelligence that has no physical form. It's not constrained by a physical world and has 
an added spiritual quality to it becomes, well, I don't know where it becomes. There's a million different theories out there about what happens, how many levels, how many spheres, how many dimensions. I don't know. But I do know that when people sit in the power or meditate, when they walk in nature, when they feel that connection to the divine, when they feel connected to everything and all things around about, there's a sense of being at one and that sense of being connected to something larger and that sense of separation in that moment diminishes. I think that question you've asked, Sandra, has just completely exploded my mind. It's been a long day. Um, but I, I, for me, it, it's the soul is about searching for a truth in life, searching for those experiences that uh, it's thirsty for. So it's gaining knowledge, it's gaining an understanding, it's gaining empathy, learning from our emotions, learning from the mindset um, and all the physical experience we have. And it, it really is about, for me, ex um, through those experiences, inspiring people like i said before touching them at a deeper level to help them find their way in life to give them a sense of purpose a purpose of what they their true authentic self is and what they're here to do i do believe that we all have um, a tune within us that we must play to be our true self and, and if we allow that to play um for example people like back and and Mate Beethoven without them, without their symphonies, and we're the same. We're, we're trying to learn our way through life and really be who we're meant to be to create choices, to bring a difference into this world, but also not just within ourselves, but within society, in our social gatherings, communities, create change. And I believe we come here to gain an experience but through the experience we have is um, to help others, other people develop, help other people find their truth and change life. Because if we can start seeing things differently, we can create better choices in life, a better life, create better circumstances. But also once we start to look at things differently, we express an essence of positivity, inspiration, and that rubs off on other people. A simple smile makes a huge difference to people. A simple conversation can make a huge difference. Your actions, our actions can make a huge difference. So I do believe there's a purpose. I do believe that pur purpose is education and knowledge and experience that we do take back to the spirit world, but we must enjoy the time we have here and really find ourselves. So it's a huge question with many different varying answers. Kerry's given one, I've given another, different aspects, but it, it's looking at that truth of who we are, what we can learn, what we can do to help each other and help humanity as well. That, that's a, a big thing for us, that healing journey, that understanding and being of service, not just as medium, but as people um educating where we can and i think that's everyone's job and i think in a way everyone's a medium of types uh doctors nurses pianists uh, painters artists in a way they're all doing a service and inspiring some of the most inspiring things that we experience are colors and drawings and language so there's many different things here we're, we're here to learn and indulge in really in experience mm -hmm. I have one more question and then we'll just wrap up our little mini conversation here is I used to be on this journey of looking for my life purpose. And I know a lot of people have come to me asking me what's their life purpose. A lot of people are looking for that life purpose. Do we have a life purpose or throughout our life? Could it change or could we choose what we say our purpose is, or is it this thing out there that we're, we need to spend our entire life looking for? Or is it all of the above? Ooh. <laughs> say more about there that. Is, yeah, there is elements within that. I do believe that people have soul qualities that need to be expressed. And when those soul qualities are expressed, they feel 
in line with their purpose, they'll feel enthusiastic, they'll feel invigorated, they'll feel passionate about what they're doing, and it won't feel like hard work. That's not to say that life becomes easy, because it, it doesn't. Just because you're living a life's life on purpose doesn't mean you have an easy life. But everything we do when we're on purpose feels like it has a power and an energy to it. And for me, it has changed. I've always known that there was mediumistic qualities there. I've always known that I would be sharing, teaching, mentoring, showing. And I always knew that when I spoke, for some strange reason, people seemed to listen. But I've been allowed different experiences from the corporate world of taking leadership roles there to within spiritualist churches, taking a leadership and a teaching role there to being here with you and earlier on with the, the other people in the, the class. And I've always felt like I was serving a purpose some I was happy in because it didn't feel like I had to put any effort into it. And other times, nine to five job or 70 hour a week job, I had to work really hard at doing that because I was really good at it. But it didn't feel like it was motivating me. It took a little bit too much energy to do it, even though I was really good at it. So being on purpose for me is about enjoying it and it not feeling like really hard work and being able to do what I'm passionate about, which is educating, which is sharing truth of life after death, which is providing confirmation to people about where their life might be and motivating the living to live even more inspiring lives, knowing that sooner or later, we're all gonna end up in a place where we don't need to breathe. <laughs> Well, that was, a, that was a, a bit of a shot where we don't need to breathe. We don't. Uh, I know we don't. I know we don't. But he, I, again, for everybody that's out there that's looking for their purpose, then what I would say to them is just enjoy life and be who you truly are. Um, Kerry talked about soul qualities. Well, if we're truly in touch with self, then we will we'll know that we're a good listener. We'll know that we may be compassionate. We may know that we're the natural born rescuer. Um, many people, such as nurses, go into that line of work because they care so much about others. Doctors are very much the same. Painters are, are wanting to express their creativity uh, and show their work and inspire the living and, and people with their colours. And I think if we're true to ourselves and we find that quality within us, then I do believe we'll soon find, and we're true to it, I do believe we'll soon find our purpose and goals in life. As Kerry mentioned, we uh, she worked within certain corporations, corporations. I was exactly the same, but it didn't sit well with me because I knew that I wanted to listen, I wanted to help, I wanted to be of service in some way, but I knew I didn't want to be a nurse or a doctor. For me, talking, listening was a big thing. So I looked at coaching, I looked at counselling, and for me, mediumship was that bridge between them where I can help, I can really encourage and inspire people, but also I, can, I feel I'm, in a way I'm making a difference. So it fills my soul with pride. And if we can get people to live their, their life authentically, enjoying what they do, and, and it feels good to them because they, they've got a real passion about it and they're not worried about what other people think because they're in their own space, then I think that makes a huge difference to where their passions are, where their purposes are uh, and what they do. So the simple things of getting to know self make a huge difference in life. And it sounds very simple, but it's the one thing that we all forget is self. We never take time for self. We're busy being busy, not busy being productive. We're just doing what we're doing. Well, if we take time for self, sounds selfish, but it's not. We start to heal. We start to find ourselves. We can start then engaging in what we're passionate about and indulge that with others. And like Kerry said, where people are drawn to you, you'll start to notice people are drawn to you through your qualities, through your passions. Then that's the whole making of you. That's beautiful. For me, somebody once said, look to see what you've already been doing, who you've already been being. And so it might not be one job or one thing. And 
I love to make a difference, whether it was being a caterer and a chef or what we're doing now, it's making a difference in the life. I love to learn, especially this, this inspirational meaty stuff like afterlife. I love to share. I'm big on that. And I love joy and I love to have fun. So for me, when I think about life purpose is when I can be being that, whether it's a job, working for myself here or there, those are the qualities that light my soul on fire. So I think my advice to anybody is look to see who you've been being and what you've been doing and just for look for those commonalities. But don't think, you know, your life's purpose is to be this. You know, we really do get to choose. Anyways, Carrie and Phil, thank you for our little mini chat. What do you have going on the next couple of days? Oh, wow. Next couple of days, we're busy being busy, but always in a productive way. Um, <laughs> <laughs> can't make it up, can you? No, um, tomorrow, we've, we've just done the, the way to your spirit today, something we really enjoy. Um, but tomorrow, we're doing two things we're very passionate about, which is the psychic class really getting to know self, understanding your emanations, how we form that intelligence between our soul and our emotional reactions and mental thoughts, um, and putting people through their paces to really find themselves and understand themselves and, and taking building those foundations. So, and, and to quote somebody, um, it's not just about the ability, it's the way that we live and the way that we are makes them far kinder. But I also know on the Thursday, I'll pass that over to mm. you, we're doing the mediumship class. Mm. And the mediumship class, we begin our first one on Thursday, 1st September. And it is a graduating course, but we've got people joining us every month. So some people have taken a break, some people are just joining us. And it's that way of being able to share that journey through um, well, many people are on the Wednesday and Thursday and also come to the Tuesday Way to Your Spirit. But people go from the psychic class and then become curious about what would it be like to read somebody who is in the spirit world? And then we introduce them to being able to work with those in the spirit world. So it's a real passion of ours, firstly, to create that awareness in people of the difference between psychic and mediumship. And then to see people's faces when the spirit world comes in and makes their first communication with them. Never get tired of seeing it. And then people become quite curious and determined to be the best um, ambassador for the spirit world as they can be. So we start that journey on Thursday for the month of September, which I'm thoroughly looking forward to. Yeah, it's wow. about going through all the processes, all the mechanics, keeping the naturalness, but opening their eyes to all the formal training, the training, the clairvoyance, clairaudience, clairsentience, how it all goes to, together and how we can build patterns, but really needs to be natural and work in the way that the spirit will work with you, because that's the big thing. We, we, we can teach you the processes, but we want you to be really natural, the individual medium, because we all have different qualities and we want that natural quality to be there because that's what makes medium so different and enjoyable. Absolutely. Well, guys, I love you lots. I know this has been fun. I know for me, when I've been in the psychic class with you or the mediumship class, when you hear yourself giving this information out, and you think that it's coming from your own imagination and the other person says it's a hundred percent true or that ha that's amazing or you're telling somebody something about a loved one and they say that's absolutely true you start feeling like i'm not just this body i really am this divine soul having this experience so anybody who's interested come on the journey there's each month four sessions two hours each they are all recorded, so you can join late, join early, doesn't matter. Just come and join us and be part of our family. You can find out about all of it at wedontdie.com. You can click on the store or the calendar there. Now, Phil, you are the chairperson for this Sunday, for our Sunday gathering. I am, and I'm I, cooking up a you're big You're cooking one. up something good. I am. But um, you want to just share what our Sunday gathering is? Because it's free, and it's fabulous. And then we'll... Okay. 
let you go. I can, yeah, absolutely. We we the, the we all got together here on We Don't Die, Darren Scott, yourself, Sandra, and, and Kerry and I, and we wanted to do something that wasn't, how can I put this, attached to a religion. We wanted to bring a service together that inspired everybody, that there was something there for everybody could relate to, that wanted to discover mediumship, that wanted to discover spiritual truths, wanted to understand more about healing. But we wanted to do it in a fun way. So instead of traditional hymns, we have songs and we have little videos that inspire it. And, and Sometimes little videos that Sandra makes up. Yeah, little, and this is the unique thing about it. Sandra <laughs> loves to play with videos and loves to, chop and edit and she keeps us on our toes but the good thing in good thing with it there's nothing set in stone the order of the service can change the order of how things are presented a change and you have to be willing to change in life and, and have different changes because it keeps you alive but also Sandra keeps us on our toes with these little funny videos especially when she puts her heads on things that are dancing, dancing. and everything else but uh, and again it, it's so for myself, it's so refreshing, it's so inspiring, and it, it's free. And, and this is the really good thing. We have people now, week in, week out, that come and join. It's part of life. Well, this for will them. be the 76th it will. week 76 of weeks. Sunday Gathering. And there's some people that just haven't missed a single one. But mm -hmm. also we have a lot of people from the classes that come and join because they love what the whole team does. And, and it's how we try to inspire and reach out and touch the extended, deeper levels. The extended community as well. We've got people that come in. And as um, people used to go to their centres, their churches, their groups, their, their friends, the Sunday gathering has become a place where everybody gets together. And even though we can't see everybody at the same time, there's a sense of coming together. And I think that's pretty unique. And for it to have stayed online without one being missed for 75 weeks, 76 weeks to come, is a big thing. It's a, it, and I, we've received emails from people thanking us for doing it. But actually, we need to thank everybody else for coming because we'd be doing it anyway. It just makes it more fun when there's lots of people there. <laughs> and there is a total respect between us all. There is a reverence between us all. And there's a spirituality between us all. And we never want to lose those factions. We, we just wanted somewhere where people could come in, feel safe, be part of a community that have, unfortunately, things in common where we've lost people, lost things in life and can gain some healing, solitude and also an understanding um, and it, it, it is endearing with all the messages that we get sent. And you know about that, Sandra, because you, you had some sent to you recently. Yeah, I'm really happy about that. And I was talking to a friend today who comes from a broken family. She's the last one left in her bloodline. And there's that feeling of missing and, and not having someone. And I know a lot of us have families that are broken up. And it just dawned on me that, you know, not just Sunday gathering, but you guys as friends, we can really pick our family. We really can. And so for anyone who's interested, uh, join us. We'll be your family. And I, I do get silly, not all the time, but every so often I'll use my creativity and do something that puts a big old smile on everybody's face. <laughs> and so you never tell us what you're about to do. I never <laughs> do. I never do. But anyways, it's all done nicely. That'll with, make you laugh, but we—that's me too. And my life's purpose is being creative and making, giving people surprises and little gifts. So, with that, guys, your website—we can see on your screen—is the Spirit and Soul Foundation. Co. Uk. You can find a lot of their advanced classes and things like that in mediumship there, and some really wonderful courses. And then also for our weekly courses, you can check out WeDon'tDie.com click on store. So Mr. Philip Dykes and the most beautiful Carrie McLeod, thank you for our little mini chat. Oh, thank You're you. You're most welcome. Most welcome. Pleasure. And you, whoever you are, wherever you are watching or listening, thank you for just taking a chance and checking out something that you didn't know what we were going to talk about. Here you are. You are special. You are loved. You are one of a kind. And we thank you. <laughs>